Humidors was occurring. I've been on holiday, so today I am not in the slightest bit angry. But as always, I am amused and amazed by the idiocy of flurferism. So, after returning from our, a week away, gloriously unhindered as we were by Wi-Fi and mobile phone reception, because uh, we went off to Pembrokeshire, very, very rural, um, I came back feeling fully refreshed, only to discover a new commenter, somebody who'd never come into my, uh, my channel stream before, and whose virgin steps into the comment section I thought was worthy of mention, because they pretty much summed up the whole flow for mindset. You know, they managed to cram in just about every every single regurgitated trope that flurfers like to, to trot out, despite every single one of their arguments having been shot down and roundly discredited. Now, the person in question, boys and girls, is this fella. Let's call him Marcus Gayard. Uh, now, 25 subs, and as far as I can see, through having a quick of a bit of a quick sniff through his channel, only one original video, which appears to be of someone climbing a tree um, with the camera around their neck, which is accidentally recording for whatever reason, whether they were trying to be artistic or something, I have no idea. But they prove themselves to be absolutely typical of many flurfoids. Um, they're keen to, you know, spaff out the, the, the usual garbage in the comment section, but they seldom, if ever, produce any worthy content um, of their own. Anywho, our friend Marcus here pops onto my channel and steams straight in with a staple favourite uh, of the Flatard, this. If Earth Coriolis effect is true, then the Earth should rotate under a craft. Clearly, this does not occur. You are a lying, ignorant shill. We see through you. Now, like every floofer who squirts out the old, uh, the old aeroplane angle, they obviously don't understand the concept of relative speeds. Now, I don't know how many times I'm going to have to say this. Um, I think I must have said it in, in three videos and typed it in God knows how many comments in, in the past couple of months. Um, but... The distance an aeroplane travels is entirely relative to its point of departure, since both the Earth and the plane were stationary relative to each other before takeoff. So, if the plane flies uh, north, east, south, west, it, it doesn't matter. If they fly in any direction from their point of origin at 500 miles an hour, then in one hour, they will be 500 miles from that place of departure, regardless of the Earth's rotational direction. Owned. Plus, if you're, you know, you know you're hitting the right nerves when they start calling you a shill. And the reason that they can see through me is because Fleurfoids possess the unerring ability to completely ignore anything they don't understand. Ah. So, on to this gem. Get another hobby. Get another hobby? I've got lots of hobbies. Um, amateur radio, metal detecting, astronomy, to name but a few. The Earth is obviously and observably a vast plane. People are waking up. I was a skeptic. Then I examined the evidence. There is no curvature. You cannot prove the globe. It is a lie. Nobody has ever seen or experienced a spherical planet. Globe believers are deluded. Well, I don't know which planet you've been sat on, Marcus, but uh, the one I'm sat on right now is observably and demonstrably a sphere. And as for this comment that many floofers use about, oh, people are, people are waking up. People are not waking up. It's just the same old conspiracy nuts who tend to leech onto whichever new and exciting nonsense is currently in fashion. Now, a few years ago, it was, uh, it was Bigfoot being some kind of uh, interdimensional being, and they had the proof. Today, it's Flat Earth, and they have the proof. In 1984, it was the Bermuda, Bermuda Triangle, with proof. Um, next year will be the Turpentine craze that I spoke about uh, in a previous video. That will be hailed by many flurfoids to cure everything from, from blisters to old age. Um, they, they've 
very much like um, very much like frogs um, on a lily pond. Uh, they hop to whichever lily pad seems interesting at the time. Um, and as for no one ever seeing a, a spherical planet, you've obviously never looked on a telescope um, or even down at your feet. Um, and while we're on the subject of telescopes, you fluffers explain to me why the two inner planets regularly appear in phases whilst the outer planets do not. See that? That's Venus. Now, there is the proof of spherical planets um, and the heliocentric model. Okay? If Earth was geocentric to the solar system, then all the planets that we observed in the night sky would have phases. But they don't. Only the ones that are further, uh, further into the sun than we are. Those that are further out in the solar system, then we don't see them as phases. So, if any fluffers can, uh, can give me an adequate answer how that would work on a flat Earth, then I would very much welcome it. Until then, it's case closed. Case closed anyway, because that system just simply wouldn't work on a flat stationary Earth. Right, an informed comment number three, and this one is a proper case of the pot calling the kettle black. Flat Earth is a search for truth. Anyone who obstructs that goal is an ignoramus, fundamentalist, or religious zealot. Flat Earth is true. Skepticism and spirit of scientific empiricism. Globe is nonsense jargon and abstract mathematical formulation. Get another hobby and deal with your anger and other issues. Zutalo. This man is very concerned about me having a hobby. Um, did I also mention that I like to tame new ones for flurfers? Hmm. Anyway, the Earth, being a globe, is scientific empiricism. Um, it has been for millennia, and the reason that Mr. Gayard thinks that uh, mathematics is abstract jargon is obviously because he doesn't have the slightest understanding of the subject. Uh, if he did, he would realise that mathematics is logical, it can make precise predictions about anything from geological formations to, um, to how a ball will bounce, but the thing about mathematics is it doesn't lie. It cannot lie. Um, a, a number's value doesn't change just because you don't understand the value of that number. But my absolute favourite bit of, of this comment is this stuff about religious zealotry. Uh, now, we've all come across the, the silly biscuits who think that the earth is flat and that uh, it lives under a dome that was built by Jesus. Um, is Mr. Gayard a Jesus Crispy, do you think? For the evidence of this, we have to pop over to his Facebook channel. God made truth clear and simple so that men could not hide it. Hmm. And mixing up idiocy with more superstition? Humans are lost. Truth is not complex. Men obfuscate and claim to hold truth. Men lie. God made truth simple and plain so that we could not be fooled by men. Well, monsieur, your truth, truth, might not be complex, but that's only because you have chosen what to define as truth, irrespective of what the truth actually is, because your mind can't handle complex concepts. Now, let's go back to that flat horizon picture. Um, Let's go have a look at that for a minute, since this is the perfect example of Fleurfers customising a concept and then magically accepting it as truth. Now, this meme is built on a still from a relatively well-known video, um, taken from a high altitude, altitude balloon um, by a camera which, for reasons unknown to myself, has been nicknamed um, Little Piggy. No doubt it has some relevance to the, to the chap who sent the balloon up. Um, but it's been doctored for the purposes of this flat earth meme. Now, this one, this is the original, undoctored footage, and I've taken the liberty of putting a horizontal line in there. Ooh, curvature. Explain that and stay fashionable, Monsieur Gayard. Now, I did say he trots out uh, a whole bunch of flat earth tropes, but he's also got all 
20 creepy little fingers and toes in just about every other conspiracy currently doing the rounds and one or two that um, I thought had finished doing the rounds to be honest. Um, from his Facebook page again, what do we think about the Bermuda Triangle? Bermuda Triangle has been very convenient to have rockets that cannot get into space. Space has been a big oax. Oh, there we go then, that clears that up. Apparently it's where they hide all the rockets that they simply cannot send into space. You know, they dump them there in the Bermuda Triangle just so they can keep fooling us about the space programs. Um, you can't possibly believe in aliens because aliens come from outer space, right? Well, not according to the arch brain cell Gayard. Aliens are government conspiracy and science fiction myth invented to perpetuate the false belief that space exists above our heads and they can dictate what the heavens are and thereby steer humanity away from God. Ponder this deeply. Aliens are a government conspiracy to make us think that space exists. Well, if governments wanted to hide the fact that there actually wasn't any space, I'm sure that there would be very much easier ways to do it. But the fact that space has existed uh, since 13.8 billion years, thereabouts, and the fact that we are floating around in it on a ball orbiting a sun, uh, a sun that's orbiting the centre of the galaxy, and a galaxy that's whizzing through space at many millions of miles per hour, all of which has been observed and proved, the fact that your mindset says that space doesn't exist is based entirely on fantasy. I have no idea where you people get this nonsense. Now, what is Monsieur Gayard having difficulty comprehending next, I wonder? Um, something a bit closer to home? How about clouds? We all like clouds. Do you like clouds, Mr. Gayard? This isn't clouds. This isn't clouds. Yes, they are clouds. They are cirrus clouds. Um, apparently they didn't have cirrus clouds um, when this Muppet was young. Um, or perhaps he thinks that uh, cirrus clouds were maybe invented by Dr. Charles Cirrus in 1993 or something. Now, I've been to France. They definitely have clouds. And they come in all varieties, uh, from cirrus to cumulonimbus, uh, just like they do here. And if fleurfism and a general propensity towards gullibility wasn't enough of an affliction to be dealing with, how about bigotry? Apparently, he doesn't like anything to do with the LGBTQ issue either. Proof, if proof were needed, that idiocy is present in many avenues within the tiny and uncomprehending mind. So, does being a fleurfer signify true genius? Do they know something that we don't? No, of course not. It does prove them to be so vest-drenchingly arrogant and unaware of their own lack of understanding that they believe they're onto something, while all the degree-holding Physicists and astronomers and geographers, topographers, um, cartographers, um, nuclear physicists, mathematicians, blah, 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 blah. Apparently, they're all wrong or lying. But in fact, they're not. They have absolutely no reason to lie or make stuff up. Well, these fluffers might be convinced of their own mental faculties, but those of us with a half-decent education and a healthy dose of common sense. Um, we know that they're nothing but ignorant, deluded, ill, or possibly even a mixture of all three. Now, before I disappear, one more thing from uh, Monsieur Gayard's Facebook page. He describes himself as a hoodoo guru. Hmm. I think this chap is actually a bit of a muppet. But let's not forget he lives in Australia and is actually French. I have to say, this is the first time that I have actually agreed with anything that he said. Um, he most certainly is a hoodoo guru. That's the point I agree with. Especially if you take the Merriam-Webster dictionary definition of hoodoo. 
Once again, the floating flatards have proved our point for us. Well, that'll do for now, because I'm starting to get angry again, and I am in desperate need of a cup of tea, uh, which, as everyone knows, tea is almost as good as turpentine for curing all ills. So, thank you once again, my tubadors, if you've made it this far through the video. If you haven't already subscribed, please do consider doing so um, in a little bit. Little four will pop up down here. Give them a click. Um, if you want to be on your way, there should be a tiny little subscribe button down towards your bottom right already. Um, please do comment, good or bad. I always accept comments, even from the raving lunatics uh, from any quarter. But, thank you then so much for watching. I will catch you next time. Hoyle Valor. Yeah.